let's test the speed of the solution so we'll have here table create table and here we have circle and then we have uh, uh, we'll insert uh, rows different uh, values so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and now we'll run the so here we have the results with different radius we have area and uh, the logic how it looks like so every component uh, you can see here for example uh, random has behavior diagram which would you can use separately and here we have input as a text so this will be ai request it gets here as a text and adds executes the python code through command line uh, forms command line opaque behaviors adds the text at the end of the command line as request and then uh, prompt and then sends to command line through to keep it open and then gets result in specific format so this is one just out output right the circle one has also input so here we have uh, inputs coming you know as the value property so radius comes here and uh, uh, prompt so prompt is uh, immediately after the uh, python code execution but then the radius uh, is after that prompt so we can say that okay act on the radius and produce the result and here we get result so for example to create a new one you can just take this uh, random copy and say for example this will be let's say uh, uh, average temp in average temperature in Alaska so you can actually not only perform the math uh, do imitation of components uh, but also query the internet for the information and use it uh, as part of the simulation and here we can call it temp and now here we need to say like a, uh, output real output That's it. So we get that, and here we can say that it will be temperature, right? Temp, because this is the val variable, and we need to check that it's actually real, because otherwise it might. And you can choose the types, you know, you can have them integer, real strings, and it will work. Okay, so now if we will run this simulation here, I want to put also the breakpoint that it would actually stop and not finish that and uh, drop it. So here, run. Okay, we have 27. So that's the average temperature in Alaska. So you saw the speed of the execution really fast because you know this is like the animation. We can actually slow down and monitor how that works. So we have, uh, you see, input of the prompt. This command line goes here. We execute the command line, which runs the script and uh, then we get result and the script uh, sits uh, inside of the uh, some location here and the uh, here we have here at script which gets executed as you can see here and the script is actually querying openai 
API and for that to work you need to take that script and add inside of the script uh, your private API key which you need to generate here under this address from OpenAI you need to have uh, account so you can create account and then create a key uh, and I think at this moment you need to have paid version $20 around $20 for that paid version of uh, ChatGPT to be able to generate OpenAI key and but that's it you know for your uh, pretty much uh, unlimited use almost unlimited use for this capability and then you will get uh, as you can see here ability to create your random component your components for the enchanting simulation with the AI and uh, making uh, different uh, amazing results and as you saw it's quite fast thank you